Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created test entity and related classes like TTO, repository and service in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will create a method to convert our test entity to the test TTO. And after this, we will create service method to create a new test. And at the end, we will create test controller as well. So let's get started so in our spring boot application first of all we need to create a method to convert the test entity to the test dto and to do this we will open test class and in this class we will start writing a new method and this method will return test dto and we will import it from quiz server dot dto package and after this we will name this method as get dto and in the body of this method, first of all, we need to create a new test TTO. So we will write test TTO and we will name this as test TTO. And after this, we will initialize this with new test DTO. And after this, we need to set the data in this test TTO. So we will write test TTO. And first of all, we will call set ID method to set the ID. And in this method, we will pass ID. And after this, we need to set the title of the test. So we will write test TTO and we will call set title method. And in this, we will pass title. And after this, we need to set the description. So we will write test TTO and we will call set description method. And in this, we will pass description. And after this, we need to set the time as well. So we will write test TTO and we will call set time method. And in this we will pass time and after this we need to return this test TTO so we will write return statement and we will return test TTO from here and with this our method is completed to convert the test entity to the test TTO now we need to create a method to create the test in our test service and to do this we will open service package and after this we will open test and after this we will open test service implementation and in this class first of all we need to inject test repository and to do this we will use at the rate auto wide annotation and after this we will write private and after this we will mention test repository and we will name this as test repository and after this we will start writing a new method and this method will return test dto and we will import it from quiz server dot dto package and after this we will name this method as create test and in the params of this method we need to accept test TTO so we will write test TTO here and we will name this as DTO and after this in the body of this method we need to create test entity and after this we need to get the data from the DTO and we need to set in the entity and after this we will save the test entity so we will start creating by a new test and we will name this as test and we will initialize this with new test and after this in this test first of all we need to set the title so we will write test and after this we will call set title method and in this we will pass dto dot get title and after this we need to set the description so we will write test dot set description and in this we will pass dto dot get description and at the end we need to set the time so we will write test and after this we will call set time method and in this we will pass dto dot get time and with this our data is completed now we need to save this test and after saving the test we need to convert test entity to the test dto and after this we will return that dto so we will write return statement and after this we will use test repository and after this we will call save method and in this we will pass test and after this to convert it to the DTO we will call dot get DTO method and with this our create test method is completed in the test service implementation. Now let's copy this and after this we will open test service and we will paste it here and after this we need to create test controller and to do this we will right click on our controller package and we will choose a new java class and we will name this class as test controller 
and after this we will annotate this class with at the rate rest controller annotation and after this we will add the annotation of request mapping and after this for the url we will set it as api slash test and after this we need to inject test service in this test controller so we will write at the rate auto wide annotation and after this we will write private and we will mention test service and we will import it from service dot test package and after this we will name this as test service and after this let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and that's it for today's video in the next video we will complete our create test endpoint and after this we will test this endpoint in the postman